Hey everybody, this is Pete, and this is my last video of 2020. And wanted to do a relatively quick hitter here dealing with Inventor Select Other Cycling. So this is a great tool that you can use to help pick geometry that's behind other geometry, but sometimes it's kind of annoying. So the option I'm talking about is in your Tools tab, the Application Options command. And you'll see right on the General tool, there's a this ability to add select others. So basically if I leave my cursor hang on a piece of geometry, it will allow me to pick the face behind it. So it's really kind of helpful and you want to play with the timing. I don't want to wait too long. Like if I set that to two seconds, it'd be like forever in CAD life. If I set it too short, like 0.2, then as soon as I put my cursor on something, it's going to try to pick the object behind it. So I've sort of settled into the 0.7 range for me. That seems to work pretty well, but it sometimes doesn't work. So if I hit close, I'll give you an example of what I mean. I'm going to do a, a tube and pipe assembly here. So I come over to my piping run. I've already selected the style and I want to run a route. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my new route. Perfect. And then once that's generated, I'll actually route the device. So uh, I'll just do a couple here. So the first thing is you have to pick where you want to route to. And so you pick a loop, but you see if I leave it hang for just a little bit, now it's got all sorts of other edges. So it's not too bad, but sometimes it's annoying. So that was pretty straightforward. But then when I come down to this one, it gets a little tricky because I have to hit the space bar, but then it tries to pick other faces. And in fact, you see it went the wrong way. So it's crazy annoying. And it's also annoying if you want to set up things like intermediate points. So if I right click here before I'm done and I pick intermediate points, now it'll allow me to space out from the shape and you can play with like, you know, how far. So if I want like 15 millimeters, cause I'm using millimeters for now then it'll hang. But as soon as I leave it sit for too long, you see it tries to find other faces behind the scenes. And so it just causes all kinds of tricky issues. So I'm going to hit cancel and undo, and I'm going to show you a couple different things you can do here. So I'm going to just hit undo. Undo is your friend sometimes. So now I'm in this, I can actually build my route, but I want to go back to my tools tab quickly, application options. And there's two things you can do. You could set this value up. So if I set it to like four seconds temporarily, now when I come over and I try to build my route, I can kind of hang here for a little bit. I can even lightly move my cursor and it's not going to goof anything up. So that can make it easier. And so I find this edge, I hit the space bar and you see I didn't have to rush, it worked really well etc etc so that's pretty cool it's pretty easy and you can do the same intermediate point stuff that we said before and like i said you have to kind of hang here for a longer time before it starts to try and find other faces and goof things up so that's one option now another option that i didn't really know about and a customer actually clued me in on this so i appreciate that i love learning from my customers they're always teaching me new things and in different industries but you can actually, if you never want to do this, you can type in off here. And when we hit off, it never will display that other cycling. So if I build my route one more time and I hang here, I could leave my cursor sit here for quite a while and it's never going to do anything. So that's an option that some folks like because then it doesn't ever get in the way of picking the selections they want. And then if you right click, you can always use the select other and that will give you the same option to pick and choose. So just wanted to let you know those are some of the options for controlling the geometry. Most of the time when we're designing, it's a non-issue, but sometimes when you got a lot of geometry in a small space, it can get crazy annoying to get exactly what you want. So that was just a quick tip today. If you have any questions or comments on that, please let me know. I look forward to seeing you in the next year. So. Have a blessed new year, everybody.